What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of iOS 7 Beta 5 running on my iPhone 5. Basically I've been on vacation which is why I haven't uploaded a video in a little over a week. So I figured I'd get out this update to you guys, this update video, because this software was actually released uh, from Apple earlier this week. The iOS 7 Beta 4 was released last week if you guys saw my reviews of that. So let's jump right into the video. I'll go ahead and show you some of the biggest changes and bug fixes they made in iOS 7 Beta 5. Now, you can, uh, you can update to this using the settings app as usual. So basically, right off the bat, you'll see that the settings icons have been updated. As you can see here, it used to have a non-colored uh, settings icons here. They have been updated to match the operating system are a lot more colorful. They've updated basically all of them, so it's pretty cool to see. Nice little subtle change there. Uh, you can also go into settings, and as you can see here, you can edit the control center settings. So you can actually turn off the control center on the lock screen or the access within apps which is kind of nice because they didn't actually allow you to edit that. Any customization settings that Apple gives you nowadays are kind of cool to have and nice to have on your device. Um, also, if you go into, I'll go into my photos here. I don't, want, I don't want you guys to see all of them, but if I go to example for this picture of my iPod and go to share it, you can see that they have redesigned the Twitter icon. That's just a subtle change that people have noticed. The new Twitter icon is different than the old Twitter icon, which is kind of cool just to see that in general. Um, also, when you go ahead and reboot your device, usually the Apple logo would show up in the middle and you would have a black screen around the white Apple logo. But if you have a white iPhone or a white iDevice, I'll show you this on my iPad in the video later, they have a white screen with a black Apple logo, which is kind of cool. It matches a little better. And you used to have all black uh, rebooting screens, but if you have a white device now, the reboot screen is white. Also, the slide to power, on, to power off button, as you can see here, has been redesigned to match the operating system. It's a lot more uh, subtle and looks a lot better in my opinion, I think, a lot cleaner, just like the phone app was updated in beta 4. Um, also, when you get a notification now, if a, po if a push notification or a text pops up on the top, you can simply scroll down uh, and grab the notification rather than waiting for it to go away, which I like a lot. I like to get rid of my notifications pretty quickly, so I like that they added that new feature. Uh, also, when you make a call, the in-call buttons have changed a little bit. They are now circles, so the in-call buttons will look similar to what these buttons look like. They look more like buttons, uh, such as the speakerphone and all that good stuff. Uh, it did not have a circle around it. It was simply a little button thing. So it's good to see that they have updated that as well. Um, also, most of the apps have been working now. I know Skype has been updated to be working a lot better. Uh, Skype didn't even work in beta 4 and below, so it's good to see that in beta 5 of iOS 7, they made that work. And basically, all the apps on my phone and all my devices are working now, so I can go and say that Apple has fixed that bug a lot. They've made a lot of bugs. Uh, or they made a lot of a the apps compatible and fix a lot of bugs there. Um, and in general, it's a lot faster and smoother. The multitasking is a lot faster. As you can see, uh, the wallpaper bug is no longer there, which if I go into the app, I go and quit out of it and go here, it won't actually, uh, the wallpaper won't go away. There's really almost no bugs that I've found minus the unlock. When I go to unlock my device, the sound is not there. Uh, but Overall, there's almost no bugs, and they've really made it a lot faster and smoother, and there's really no more bugs that I can see. But overall, those are some of the biggest changes and bug fixes they made in this iOS 7 Beta 5 version. As you guys know, they really tend to not update huge features in the betas. They just tend to fix bugs. So I have seen less and less features updated in this uh, in these betas, but iOS 7 Beta 5 definitely is the most solid beta they've had. It's really close to the final operating system, I think, which will be released about a month from now. And I'm really happy with it, guys. It really works well on all my devices. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up and favorite, as well as subscribe for more Apple content. I upload regular videos, so stay tuned for those. And also be sure to Follow my Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my vlog channel. I update, I update those on a regular basis too as well, so stay tuned for more content there. And also be sure to check out the link in the description to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. And also if you guys just want more on iOS 7, check out my channel in the description, guys. But hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.